entrance procession of the Eucharistic celebration is just about to commence. We are all invited to participate with faith and recollection in this Holy Eucharist. We are also requested to refrain from raising of banners and flags, and we participate together as a family. Baada ya muda isiyo mrefu, msafara ya kuanza ibada ya Misa Takatifu itaanza. Sisi sote tunaalikwa kushiriki kwa imani na kutafakari katika ibada ya misa na pia tunaombwa kwa unyenyekevu tuache kuinia, kuinua mabango na mabendera sasa sisi zote tusimame tuanze ibada ya misa let us all stand as we begin the eucharistic celebration
I confess to Almighty and to Jesus that I have against it sinned in my heart and my heart in what I have done my heart and my heart and my heart God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
and count and acknowledge of the truth. Look upon your abundant harvest and be pleased to send workers to gather in that in the gospel might be precious to creation and that your people gathered by the world of life and sustained by the power of the sacraments may advance in the path of salvation and stove. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Oh, no. 
a reading okay. from the book of the prophet Isaiah. But now hear, O Jacob, my servant, Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord who made you, who formed you from the womb, and will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water on this thirsty land, and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your descendants, and my blessings on your offspring. They shall spring up like grass amid waters, like willows by flowing streams. This one will say, I am the Lord's. Another will call himself by the name of Jacob. And another will write on his hand the Lord's and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. Who is like me? Let him proclaim it. Let him declare and set it forth before me. Who has announced from of old the things to come? Let them tell us what is yet to be. Fear not, nor be afraid. Have I not told you from of old and declared it? And you are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me? There is no rock. I know not any. The word of the Lord. Buana ndiye mchungaji wangu, sita pungu kiwa na kitu.
disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him they worshipped but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father 
and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. La parola di Dio parla alle profondità del nostro cuore. Oggi Dio ci dice che gli apparteniamo e li ci ha fatti. Noi siamo la sua famiglia e per noi lui sarà sempre presente. Non temete, egli ci dice. Io vi ho scelti e prometto di darvi la via benedizione. E abbiamo ascoltato questa promessa nella prima lettura. Il Signore ci dice che farà sgorgare acqua nel deserto, in una terra assetata, e li farà sì che i figli del suo popolo fioriscano come erba e come salici lussureggianti sappiamo che questa profezia si è adempiuta con l'effusione dello Spirito Santo a Pentecoste ma vediamo anche che essa si compie dovunque il Vangelo è predicato e nuovi popoli diventano membro della famiglia di Dio la Chiesa Oggi ci raggiamo perché si è realizzata in questa terra, mediante la predicazione del Vangelo, tutti noi siamo diventati partecipe della grande famiglia cristiana. God's Word speaks to us in the depths of our heart. God's Word speaks to us in the depths of our heart. Today God tells us that we belong to Him. He made us. We are His family. And He will always be there for us. Fear not, He says to us. I have chosen you and I promise to give you my blessing. We hear this promise in today's first reading. The Lord tells us that in the desert he will pour forth water on the thirsty land. He will cause the children of his people to flourish like grass and luxuriant willows. We know that this prophecy was fulfilled in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. But we also see it fulfilled wherever the gospel is preached and new peoples become members of God's family, the church. Today we rejoice that it was fulfilled in this land. Through the preaching of the gospel, all of us have become part of the great Christian family. Ci invita a guardare alle nostre famiglie e a renderci conto di quanto siano importanti nel piano di Dio. 
La società del Kenya è stata a lungo benedetta con una solida vita familiare, con un profondo rispetto per la saggezza, saggezza degli anziani e con l'amore verso i bambini. La salute di qualsiasi società dipende sempre dalla salute della famiglia. Per il bene loro e della comunità, la fede nella parola di Dio ci chiama a sostenere le famiglie nella loro missione all'interno della società, ad accogliere i bambini come una benedizione per il nostro mondo e a difendere la dignità di ogni uomo e di ogni donna, poiché tutti noi siamo fratelli e sorelle nell'unica famiglia umana. Isaiah's prophecy invites us to look to our own families and to realize how important they are in God's plan. Kenyan society has long been blessed with strong family life, a deep respect for the wisdom of the elderly and love for children. The health of any society depends on the health of its families. For their sake and for the good of society, our faith in God's word calls us to support families in their mission in society, to accept children as a blessing for our world, and to defend the dignity of each man and woman, for all of us are brothers and sisters in the one human family. In obedience to the word of God, we are also called to oppose resistance to the practices that favor l'arroganza negli uomini, feriscono o disprezzano le donne, non curano gli anziani e minacciano la vita degli innocenti non ancora nati. Siamo chiamati a rispettarci e a incoraggiarci a vicenda e a raggiungere tutti coloro che si trovano nel bisogno. Le famiglie cristiane hanno questa missione speciale, irradiare l'amore di Dio e riversare l'acqua vivificante nel suo spirito. Questo è particolarmente importante oggi perché assistiamo alla avanzata dei nuovi deserti creati da una cultura dell'egoismo e dell'indifferenza verso gli altri. In obedience, in obedience to God's word, we are also called to resist practices which foster arrogance in men, hurt or demean women, ignore the elderly and threaten the life of the innocent unborn. We are called to respect and encourage one another and to reach out to all those in need. Christian families have this special mission to radiate God's love and to spread the life-giving waters of His Spirit. This is especially important today for we are seeing the growth of new deserts created by a culture of self-centeredness and indifference to others. Qui, nel cuore di questa università, dove le menti e i cuori delle nuove generazioni vengono formati, faccio appello in modo speciale ai giovani delle nazioni. I grandi valori della tradizione africana la saggezza e la verità della parola di Dio e il generoso idealismo della vostra giovinezza va, vi guidino nell'impegno 
di formare una società che sia sempre più giusta, inclusiva e rispettosa della dignità umana. Vi stiano sempre a cuore le necessità dei poveri, rigettate tutto ciò che conduce al pregiudizio e alla discriminazione, perché queste cose, lo sappiamo, non sono di Dio. Tutti conosciamo bene la parabola di Gesù a proposito dell'uomo che costruì la sua casa sulla sabbia invece che sulla roccia. Quando soffiarono i venti, essa cadde e la sua rovina fu grande. Dio è la roccia sulla quale siamo chiamati a costruire. Egli ce lo dice nella prima lettura e ci chiede «C'è forse un Dio fuori di me?» Here, here in the heart of this university, where the minds and hearts of new generations are being shaped, I appeal in a special way to the young people of the nation. Let the great values of Africa's traditions, the wisdom and truth of God's word, and the generous idealism of your youth guide you in working to shape a society which is ever more just, inclusive, and respectful of human dignity. May you always be concerned for the needs of the poor and reject everything that leads to prejudice and discrimination, for these things we know are not of God. All of us are familiar with Jesus' parable about the man who built his house on sand rather than rock. When the winds came, it fell with a mighty crash. God is the rock on which we are called to build. He tells us this in the first reading, and he asks us, Is there a God besides me? Quando Gesù risorto afferma nel Vangelo di oggi, a me è stato dato ogni potere in cielo e sulla terra. Ci dice che lui stesso, il figlio di Dio, è la roccia. Non c'è nessuno oltre a lui unico salvatore dell'umanità desidera attirare uomini e donne di ogni epoca e luogo a sé così da poterli portare al Padre Egli vuole che tutti noi costruiamo la nostra vita sul saldo fondamento della sua parola When The risen Jesus says in today's gospel, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, he is telling us that he, the Son of God, is himself the rock. There is none besides him. As the one savior of mankind, he wishes to draw men and women of every time and place to himself so that he can bring them to the Father. He wants all of us to build our lives on the firm foundation of his word. Questo è il compito che il Signore assegna a ciascuno di noi. Ci chiede di essere discepoli missionari, uomini e donne che radino la verità la bellezza e la potenza del Vangelo che trasforma la vita. Uomini e donne che siano canali della grazia di Dio, che permettano alla sua misericordia, benevolenza e verità di diventare gli elementi per costruire una casa che rimanga salda una casa che sia un focolare dove fratelli e sorelle 
vivano finalmente in armonia e reciproco rispetto, in obbedienza alla volontà del vero Dio che ci ha mostrato in Gesù la vita verso quella libertà e quella pace a cui tutti i cuori aspirano. Gesù, il buon pastore, la roccia sulla quale costruiamo le nostre vite, guidi voi e le vostre famiglie sulla via del bene e della misericordia per tutti i giorni della vostra vita. Egli benedica tutti gli abitanti del Kenya con la sua pace. And that is the charge which the Lord gives to each of us. He asks us to be missionary disciples, men and women who radiate the truth, beauty and life-changing power of the gospel. Men and women who are channels of God's grace, who enable his mercy, kindness and truth to become the building blocks of a house that stands firm, a house which is a home, where brothers and sisters at last live in harmony and mutual respect, in obedience to the will of the true God who has shown us in Jesus the way to that freedom and peace for which all hearts long. May Jesus, the Good Shepherd, the rock on whom we build our lives, guide you and your families in the way of goodness and mercy all the days of your lives. May he bless all Kenyans with his peace. Siate forti nella fede. Non abbiate paura perché voi appartenete al Signore. Stand Stand strong in faith. Do not be afraid, for you belong to the Lord. Mungu awak bariki. Mungu abariki Kenya. Let us, let us reflect in silence for some brief moments. Tutafakari sasa kwa muda mfupi kwa kimia. Let us all arise to Simame Sisi Sote. After a moment of reflection, now go to the profession of faith, the commitment that all the Father, we come to you with deep trust, knowing that you truly listen to our prayers.
prayer for the church. We pray for your holy church, preserve her unity, watch over Francis our Pope, guide the college of bishops, clothe your priests with holiness, strengthen religious men and women, imbued holiness among the laity, that all may be one. Lord, hear us. yetu Kenya. E Bwana tunaliombea taifa letu la Kenya ulibariki na ulikinge dhidi ya maovu yote walinde viongozi wetu wa serikali na raia wote wasaidie viongozi wetu wote ili wadumishe haki Maridhiano na amani kwa watu wote uhifadhi usalama na uhuru wa dini katika nchi yetu ondoa chuki ukabila ufisadi ugomvi vurugu na utoaji wa mimba e bwana tunakuomba ormarei engai kiomon noki ngangitiang ele osho lolke lorok meda olchoro lo supati meda emunyani tenebo mei pangaki enyorata wengiriata nesulaki enyorata olaitoria nilang yesu kristu Tata omezabaiki okutuk intarasi ontarasi e bwana tu kuomba inkadana Ijole tena namke nkakaimale akwaki karaja alala dasuma kulukuluma ubdikesa salfa chake sat kajel ewa feditanteti ijole namdikake ujitanteti tia work arka Akuori karachu buti wan amtu upomale ke sabau ila lacha muano amtu sora chawa warai malini did touch e bwana twakuomba Kilipi 
Kisu mujulu ya nyamita koro Kitana pule ya mamuori Sarao apel alwe tutichikini toka Lui sarakinita alorere ya kech Sarao ek ngarakinan angdea alwe mamli kaura Nakin kaswa kadang akiara na nyedau Lo diaras the believing God recite the prayers we make through your son Jesus Christ who won unity with you and the Holy Spirit be all glory and praise forever of the prayers of the faithful we come officially to the end of the liturgy of the word and now prepare ourselves to go to offertory there will be a bit of departing from the norm where we shall not have monetary offerings but instead symbolic gifts that will be presented these symbolize the work of our hands the fruit of our labor and will be combined together with the Eucharistic species of bread and wine that becomes the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ after consecration and for those who partake of it and join themselves to Christ in a special way.
the Holy Father in sensing the gifts that have been presented, the bread and wine that will be consecrated to become the body and blood of Jesus Christ, the use of the incense being very symbolic, that just as the smoke with nice fragrance goes up into the sky, so do our prayers for our motherland Kenya, for our needs as individuals, as families, as communities, also go up to God our Father. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O oh Lord, upon the face of your Christ, who handed himself over as ransom for us so that through him, from the reaching of this song to its setting, your name may be exalted among nations, and in every place a single offering may be presented to your majesty. Through Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Dominus Obisum. Susan Corda. Gracias, hagamos dominio de nuestro. Veredigno y justo en esto. El cubo es salutar a nuestro Vicente, Pater, siempre de tu vida y gracias a Jere, perfilio en dirección y tu y Jesucristo, verbo en tu, para que el punto fechiste con mis hijos y novios. Salvatore e Redentore, incarnato in Spirito Santo, esergi in atto. Qui volontà in tua adimple, del popolo un tibi santo da Chile, estende in mano con Pateretto, morto in sole, la resurrezione manifestata. E ti dio con angeli e domini santi, gloria in tua, predicamo su una voce di cielo.
very special, solemn moment for consecration. The language in use is Latin, the official language of the church, to express the universality. But now is corpus et sanguis fia Domini nostri Jesu Christus. Qui con passione e volontaria tra le lettere accetti il pane e grazie a Sagen pregi e di quei discipoli suoi stessi accipite et mandugate ex hoc omnes. O che è il corpo mio, quel trovo vista di te. una con Papa nostro Francisco et me indigno famulo tuo et universo creru memento esiam fratrum nostrorum qui in spe resurrectionis dormierunt omniumque in tua miserazione defunctorum et eos in lumen vultus tui admite. Omnium nostrum quesumus miserere, et cum beata Dei genetrice Vergine Maria, beato Iosef, eius sponsor, beatis apostolis, et omnibus santis, 
qui tipi a seculo racuerunt, eterne vite miseriamo esse consortes. Et te laude, laudemus et glorificemus pe filium tuum, Iesum Christum. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, est ibi Deo Patri onipotenti, in unitate Spiritu Sancti, omnis honor et gloria, romnia secula seculo. Savior's command, conformed by living teaching, we dare to say. of Nairobi, and with that extending the same peace to the rest of the concelebrating bishops, cardinals and archbishops, and the rest of the congregation is equally called upon to extend the same sign of peace. This is the peace of Jesus Christ. We have also seen that the priests have been led by the ashes to the different points within the venue where they can get to distribute communion. This is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And this, in the words of St. John the Evangelist, chapter 6, verse 56, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood stays in me and I in them. 
an intimate connection with Jesus Christ to be able indeed to bring joy and happiness to our motherland Kenya. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. communion time and we can see His Holiness Pope Francis receiving the body and blood of Jesus Christ, allowing Christ to take charge of his life. The rest of the priests have been led by ushers to the different points within the different venues. At the main venue at the University of Nairobi grounds and the other congregation that is seated at Central Park and those who are filled over to Uhuru Park. We have multiple chapels at Central Park and Uhuru Park, manned by priests who are serving as chaplains to those uh, chapels, accompanied by acolytes who are extraordinary ministers of the Eucharist, and as they help in the distribution of communion. Something will depart from the norm. The second congregation of the liturgy has granted special permission that even after the people at the main venue have received communion, the rest in Central Park and Hiri Park will continue to receive communion even up until the end of the Mass, even after the Pope has imparted his apostolic blessing. This is to ensure that every other Catholic faithful who is supposed to be receiving communion has had an opportunity to receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ. After which there will be an observance of a moment of silence to ponder on the intimate connection that every communicant will have with Jesus Christ. Christ coming into your life to transform you and to give you a new beginning. Catholic faithful at this moment. Submitting to Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, 
and the Lord of the universe. continues concurrently in the other venues as well within the grounds of the University of Nairobi and at Central Park and also all the way at Uhuru Park where we have over 300 and more priests distributing communion assisted by the acolytes. The acolytes are seminarians in their last stage prior to their ordination to diaconate and so exercising their ministry they get to distribute communion assisting the priests and this is basically an account of the mammoth crowd that you can see at the venue and again i mentioned there before that the second congregation on the liturgy has granted special permission that distribution of communion continues even after the holy father has imparted his apostolic blessing on the congregation and thereby effectively bringing the Mass to an end.
let us keep a prayerful silence for some brief moments tafadhali tutafakari na tusali kwa muda mfupi kwa kwa kimya Let us all stand for the post communion prayer. Sisi sote tusimame kwa sala baada ya komunyo. The priests we shall still continue to distribute the holy communion even afterwards. Let us pray. Now raised by this redeeming gift We pray, O oh Lord, that through His help to eternal salvation, through faith may ever increase, through Christ our Lord. We have effectively come to the end of the Continue the communion. Of the Eucharist and the concluding rites. Let us be seated. We'll have a moment of silence during which Later on we shall have the blessing of sacramentals by his holiness uh, Pope Francis and the members of the congregation wherever they are whatever they have in their hands be they rosaries be they crucifixes crosses or indeed prayer books and any other sacramentals they will hold them in readiness for their apostolic benediction upon their sacramentals at this moment possibly important to draw the attention of all the many Catholics uh, all over in their homes within the country that they too wherever they are having followed this oh, mass on screen can also have their sacrament your, your, your holiness Pope Francis your eminences your graces My Lord Bishops, our dear priests, men and women religious, our dear President here present, and all protocols observed. I stand here on behalf of these present here, our dear Christians, and other for sure members from other denominations and religions and my duty is very brief in fact it is going to be very brief as usual we want to thank you our dear Holy Father, Pope Francis, for accepting our invitation to visit us here in Kenya and for granting more than we requested during our Andrimina visit in April 2015 by making our beloved country your first stop on your maiden visit to Africa. We are greatly indebted to you for this kind gesture. 
as St. Peter was mandated by Jesus, and I quote, to strengthen the brethren, end of quote, and to feed his sheep. Your presence here during this period has been a source of strength and a spiritual nourishment. For this, we are truly very, very, very grateful. Our dear Holy Father, your presence in Kenya renews in a very special way our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. You are among us as our teacher of the faith, as one who strengthens our faith and our resolve to live by the same faith. You are among us as the one who shepherds us and demonstrates the love of Christ among us. Thank you, thank you, thank you also for not only being a pillar of our unity but also a great resource on matters affecting humanity which keeps... I saw, thank you also for not only being a pillar of our unity but also a great resource on matters affecting humanity which keeps us reflecting and learning thus helping us to transform our lives. Your message to us both yesterday and even today and we are sure even um, um, today again um, 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 and then also tomorrow we are sure that we remain unforgettable <laughs> and indeed somebody. I would also like to convey our deep gratitude to your excellency the president of the republic of kenya even since it was announced that His Holiness would be visiting Kenya, Your Excellency has not spared any effort to ensure the success of the people visit. Your government with the church has worked tirelessly to ensure all venues were prepared in time to host His Holiness. You put at our disposal the best minds in your government to have, uh, to, to who have ensured that all arrangements have been done on schedule. Your Excellency, I am aware that you have personally followed every detail of the preparations leading to this successive historic visit. For this, we shall always be grateful to you and may God bless you and your government abundantly. We want to extend some special thanks to you, our dear brother bishops, and all the collaborators, your collaborators, for spearheading the preparations of the faithful to receive the Holy Father. I also sincerely thank all the cardinals and archbishops, bishops, and delegates from Amesea region and Democratic Republic of Congo and those from other countries 
who have come all the way to pray with us today. This is indeed a manifestation of unity. A joint steering committee and the subcommittees composed of clergy, religious men and women, lay faithful and government officials who are charged with the responsibility of overseeing every detail relating to the visit of the Holy Father. The committee members demonstrated unparalleled dedication to the task that was entrusted to them. They even held meetings for long hours and supervised all aspects of uh, held meetings for long hours and, and so supervised all aspects of the planning and execution of different aspects relating to this visit. To all members of joint steering committees have given a wonderful account of themselves. Kindly accept all of you our deep appreciation. To the members of some committees who worked around the clock to ensure the specific tasks were accomplished on time, accept our gratitude too, even if expressed in just a general manner. You are Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. To the management and entire fraternity of the University of Nairobi, who so graciously and readily offered their grounds for this holy mass we have celebrated today, we truly express our deepest gratitude to all of you. Asante Nisan. To all our distinguished guests who have graced this occasion and to all who have supported the church financially in kind and in, um, um, in financially and in kind, we say thank you to you for demonstrating your ability to join hands regardless of religious, ethnic, or any other differences that may exist among us in the spirit of words of our national anthem. May we, may we dwell in unity, peace, and liberty. May this unity and peace always guide our relations as Kenyans. To all our Christ faithful who have come from all walks of life and in different parts of our beloved country, having come to pray with the Holy Father and participate in the Holy Mass and to all those from other faiths who chose to join us for this most holy sacrifice of the Mass, we say thank you, thank you, and thank you once again for this wonderful show of love and the unity of purpose. May all of you have, who have traveled long distances and have made innumerable sacrifices to come here, may the Lord truly reward you. As you know, love is demonstrated by deeds and your presence here is a clear manifestation of that love. May you all receive abundant blessings from God in reward of uh, your generosity. Once more, let us embrace 
and demonstrate the words of our national anthem. And I quote, let one and all arise in common bond united build these our nation together through peaceful coexistence and tolerance we all belong together as God's sons and daughters may the same Lord keep us united loving one another irrespective of where we come from. I am concluding. It is not where we come from that is really important, but it is whom God has made us to be. So let us love one another. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and may the Lord bless you. Ni hayo tu kutoka chumba chetu cha habari Mungu abariki. Our of gratitude from his eminence John Cardinal Njue to his holiness Pope Francis. Appreciation for gracing his special visit that combines with his pastoral responsibilities to Africa and choosing to start off in Kenya then proceeding to Uganda and the Central African Republic. Indeed, all of us feel blessed and for whatever it is that every other person would wish to receive blessing, I'm sure that moment will be forthcoming. You see there a chalice, a special gift by his holiness uh, to his eminence, a symbol of the chalice that contains the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that sanctifies all of us, washes away our sins, and once again restores us to the dignity of being called children of God and heirs of his kingdom. We all have a reason to delight in the indiscriminative and without favoritism in love that God extends to all of us irrespective of creed. Giving song after receiving Holy Communion, indeed, that Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords, has conquered everything and has made every other child of God happy, that indeed no torment will prevail over their lives. Now, the Holy Father will give us his apostolic blessings and he will also bless all the sacred objects that we brought for blessing. Baba mtakatifu sasa tatupatia baraka zake na pia atabariki bidhaa zetu zote ambazo tulileta ili zibarikiwe. Kwa hivyo sisi zote tusimame na tupate baraka za Baba mtakatifu. Let us all stand and get the blessings from the Holy Father. As you have heard and already mentioned earlier before, we may now hold our items for special blessing by the Holy Father wherever we are, from the main venues and also from our homes. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Go forth, the mass is ended. And with that apostolic blessing and the dismissal by the deacon, we effectively come to the end of our solemn celebration of the Eucharist, presided over by His Holiness uh, Pope uh, Francis on his maiden visit to our continent of Africa and in a special way touching ground to our motherland Kenya. May we cherish every single grace and favor that God has lavished upon us through his servant uh, Pope uh, Francis. there before on account of the special permission by the sacred congregation on the liturgy in the other venues Central Park and Uhuru Park possibly the faithfuls continue to receive communion on account of the many faithfuls that showed up to be part and parcel of this memorable occasion so they will continue to receive communion until every other person officially commissioned by the church to receive communion has had an opportunity to do so. This departs from the norm where people receive communion and at the end the concluding prayer and the blessing. But then now this special permission had to be granted on account of the numbers and indeed you all agree that every other Catholic faithful would want to receive communion on such a memorable a solemn celebration of the Eucharist. celebrating a bishops, archbishops and cardinals present. We see them proceeding to the sacristy to go and invest, of course, in readiness for His Holiness Pope Francis to undertake the next assignment, and that is to address the clergy, religious men and women, and the seminarians from St. Mary's grounds in Songari. These are his co-workers in the vineyard of the Lord to encourage them, to remind them things may be difficult. Temptations and challenges of the world and of the spreading of the gospel may come their way, but he is there to encourage them and to remind them that as the Lord promised in Matthew 28, 20, that indeed he is with them until the end of time. So it is upon them to continue serving the Lord with dedication and without wavering. Amen.